kwamba leo ninataka kusungumzia ujumbe ambao unasema make the kingdom of god known ufanye ufalme wa Mungu ujulikane huo ndio jumbe niko nao siku hii ya leo kufanya ufalme wa Bwana ujulikane ni kwa nini ufanye ufalme wa Bwana ujulikane ni kwa sababu kuna sehemu haujajulikana kuna watu hawajajiwa vyema na kuelewa vizuri jinsi ambavyo ufalme huu unavyofanya kazi na kuna watu ambao Mungu anawatanzamia wakawese kutumika kujulisha, kujulishana uju, uju, ufalme wa Mungu kwa wengine kuna watu ambao Mungu anatanzamia wakawese kutumika kuweza kufahamisha ufalme wa Mungu kwa wengine na ujumbe huu nao nikaupokea ili niulete kwako siku ya leo ufanye ufalme wa Mungu ujulikane nilipokuwa nikija Nairobi naongea habari zangu ni mtu ambaye nilikuja na yeye maana siku nimeingia lakini yeye alijua Nairobi akanileta Nairobi akaniambia hapa hii barabara inaitwa hivi huu mtao naitwa hivi lakini aliondoka sasa mimi najua Nairobi pekee lakini kuna mtu aliniongoza Ninaongea na watu ambao Mungu anawatazamia wakafanyike kuwa watu ambao wataweza kujulisha ufalme wake Mungu kwa wengine ni mtu mmoja atakaye jua ajulishe wengine ni watu watakao jua ajulishe wengine inategemea wewe unataka kusimama kwa nafasi gani utajulikana kwa jia gani kuna mambo Mungu anatazamia ifanyike kwa watu wapate kujulisha wengine ninaongea na mtu ambaye ana tamaa hiyo ana moyo ambao unataka kujua ili awe mjumbe wa wengine utakapopatiwa ukumbuke ya kwamba utakapokuwa mtu akulisha wengine utaondoka ukiwa na malisho If you become a person who wants to know to make others know you will remain to a, be a person who is aware of what is happening Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Ufalme wa Mungu ujulikane duniani maana duniani imekana Aiamini ya kwamba kuna mambo ambayo inaweza fanyika supernatural, mambo ambayo inaweza kuonekana kutoka mbinguni ambayo si ya kawaida, sio mahesabu ya lawyers, sio mahesabu ya ndagitari, sio mahesabu ya walimu, sio mahesabu ya watu ambao wana akili tofauti za masomo, mambo ambayo haijulikani lakini yakisema yanaonekana yanajumuisha na julisha kwamba ni ufalme wa Mungu umetenda jambo hilo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana anatazamia watu ambao wanaweza tumika, watu ambao wataweza kufahamisha ufalme wake duniani ujulikane kwamba kuna ufalme unaofanya kazi kwa mahesabu tofauti tofauti na dunia Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Kwa hivyo jumbo wa leo andika hapa unasema make the kingdom of God known And I am going to give you the summary of the points that you need to have in your life that you can know and understand how can you show the kingdom of God in the, on this earth How can you show that kingdom of God operating on this earth? Because if you are not going to do that, we are going to be controlled by the authority of this earth. But there are areas that we don't need to be controlled by the authorities. We need to receive the authority that is above in Jesus name. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Mark 4 Nataka tuanzie aya yake ya 30 I say verses 30 to 40 Tena Yesu akasema Tufananishe ufalme wa Mungu na nini? Tueleze kwa mifano gani? Ni kama bengu ya aradari ambayo ni ndogo kuliko mbegu zote lakini kisha kupandwa uota na kuwa mmea mkubwa kuliko mimea yote ya shambani matao yake huwa makubwa hata ndege wa angani hawawezi kujenga viota vyao katika kivuli chake Yesu aliwaumbiria ujumbe wake kwa mifano mingi kwa mifano mingine mingi ya namna hiyo aliongea nao kadri walivyoweza kusikia kuongea nao chochote bila kutumia mifano lakini alipokuwa pamoja na wanafunzi wake peke yao 
alikuwa akiwafafanulia kila kitu jioni siku hiyo hiyo Yesu aliwaambia wanafunzi wake tufuke ziwa twende ngambo basi wakauacha ule umati wa watu wakamchukua Yesu katika mashua alimokuwa vile vile mashua nyingine mfuata basi dhuluba kali ikaanza kufuma mawimbi ya kapiga yakaipiga ile mashua hata ikaanza kujaa maji Yesu alikuwa sehemu ya nyuma ya mashua amelala juu ya mtu uh, juu ya mto basi wanafunzi wakamwamsha na kumwambia mwalimu je ujali kwamba sisi tunaangamia basi akaamuka akaukemea ule upepo na kunyamazisha mawimbi ya ziwa kimya tulia hapo upepo ukakoma kukawa swari kabisa uh, kisha Yesu akawaambia wanafunzi wake mbona mnaongopa je bado amna imani nao wakaongopa sana wakawa wanaulizana huyo ni nani basi hata upepo na mawimbi vinamtii praise the name of the lord jesus madhao 15 inasema hivi msari ule wa kwanza hadi 19 then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came from Jerusalem to Jesus and asked him why is it that your disciples disobey the teachings handed down by our ancestors they don't wash their hands in the proper way before they eat Jesus answered and why do you disobey God's command and follow your own teaching for God said respect your father and your mother and whoever curses his father or his mother is to be put to death but you teach that if a person has something he could use it to help his father or mother but says this belongs to god he does not need to honor his father in this way you disregard, you disregard god's command and in order to follow your own teaching you hypocrites how right isaiah was when he prophesied about you these people says These people says God honor me with their words but their heart is really far away from me it is no use for them to worship me because they teach human rules as though they were my laws Then Jesus called the crowd to him and said to them listen and understand it is not what goes into a person's mouth that makes him ritually unclean Rather what comes out of it makes him unclean Then the disciples came to him and said do you know that the Pharisees at their uh, at their feelings hurt by what you said Every plant which my father in heaven did not plant will be pulled up and so at Jesus don't worry about them they are blind leaders of the blind and when one blind man leads another both fall into a ditch praise the name of the lord baba katika jina la yesu nakushukuru mwokozi kwa sababu wewe ni mungu mwenye uwezo na mwenye rehema roho mtakatifu wa mungu ninakualika ukatumie kinywa changu kwa ajili kuweza kuachilia ujumbe huu kaweze kufikia kila mmoja ulie kusudia bwana kupokea na kubadilishwa na ule ujumbe katika jina la Bwana. Ninakushukuru, ninakuinua, ninakuabudu kwa maana hakuna mwingine. Asandi kwa sababu naweza in Jesus name we pray and believe. Sema amen. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi. Maneno na ulisa bwana Yesu anaulisa mwenyewe kwenye kitabu kile cha Marko. Ine msari ule wa 30 Tufananishe na nini ufalme wa Mungu? What can we compare with the kingdom of God? When I see this question it makes me think deeper. It makes me think deeply to see. I tend to think and 
I think it is true that Jesus was talking to the people who do not believe that there is kingdom of God. And so he wanted to make them understand that this power they might, not, they might not be able to see. They might not be able to believe. But there is a power that can be able to change the things which looks like they cannot be changed. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Maka nasema kauliza tufananisha na nini ufali mwa mungu. Aka sema ni kama mbengu ilio ndogo zaidi kuliko mbengu zote sinazo julikana. Lakini inaweza ikapando ikaanza kuza. Ikatoa mea mkubwa zaidi kuliko mimia yote ilio julikana. Iye ni ufali mwa mungu ni ule ambao haunaweza kuwa haujulikani na watu wengi. Lakini inaweza kujulikana na mtu moja hamae. Haonekani kama ni mtu wa maana. Aka leta mabandiliko ya kushangasa watu wengi. Katika jina la Yesu Christo mwana wa mungu wa ishe mwana. Piye buna Yesu makovi mengi. Ufalmu wa mungu Ni mbengu iliondogo Ambayo hayonekani Lakini inaweza kupandwa ikatua mmea mkubwa Ambayo matawi yake haiwezi kujengwa viyota na wandege Nasema katika jina la yesu naongea na mtu Ambayo amezaliwa katika nyumba Ya taapi ya mateso ya haibu Ambayo hayonekani kitu kizuri ya mbacho Kinaweza kuonekana pali Lakini kuna mtu ambayo Akija kuweza kupokelewa na ufalmu wa mungu Ataleta mamba makubwa ambayo Haikuwai kwe sabiwa kuonekana kwa ile nyumba Katika jina la Yesu Christ nasema ufalme wa Mungu unaweza kubandilisha hali iliyopuuzwa hali iliyo mbaya watu wakashangaa vile ilivyo katika jina la Yesu Christ Yesu akasema ni mbengo ndogo na leo katika jina la Yesu ninaongea na mtu ambaye anaona ni kama kwake kuna lahana nikwambie kuna mbengo inaenda kupandwa ndani yako leo kupitia kwa jina la Yesu Christ ambaye nasema lahana ondoga na panda baraka ambazo asionekani na macho lakini zitaanza kuja pole pole sitaanza kuja pole pole katika jina la Yesu Christ pigie pana Yesu makovi na shangwe na vigele gele gele kwa Yesu in the name of the Lord Jesus it is the smallest thing that you can ever you cannot even see it is the smallest thing that you cannot even believe in it but when it is planted in the life of someone things begin to grow life begin to expand things begin to glow in the name of the Lord Jesus nasema ikija kuingiso kwa maisha mtu anaansa kubandilika anaansa kudona anaansa kuinuliwa anaansa kubarikiwa anaansa kufanikiwa anaansa kuinuliwa katika jika in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen Yesu makofi mengi Najua wengine wanaamini unaweza ukafanikiwa kwa sababu baba yako alikuwa na mali na kwa sababu umezaliwa kwenye mboma iliyo na mali hivyo ndivyo kulingana mahesabu ya wanadamu ilivyo nasema hapana mbengu la neno la Mungu likipandwa kwako baba yako alikuwa maskini utakuwa tajiri baba yako alikuwa ameshindwa utainuliwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo pigie pana Yesu makovu na shangwe na vigele gele Praise the name of the Lord pale nyumbani naongea na wewe ni kuambie Yesu akasema ni bengu dogo ya ladari ambayo inaweza ikapandwa shimo yake ni ndogo zana mali imepandwa hakuna mtu ataona hapo lakini itakapoanza kutoa ule mmea nani watu wataanza kuona ikinuka watu wataanza kuona ikiongezeka wataanza kuona matawi ikiwa kubwa wataanza kuona mambo ikipanda ibandilika katika jina la Yesu nasema leo in the name of the Lord kuna mtu anaenda kuinuliwa kuna mtu anaenda kufanikiwa kuna mtu anaenda kuinuliwa wataanza kuona ukiingiza gari wataanza kuona ukijenga nyumba wataanza kuona ukinunua shamba wataanza kuona ukianza biashara wataanza kuona ukinuliwa hawakujua ikipandwa nasema receive it in the name of the lord jesus praise the name of the lord pengo aladari naongea na mtu ambaye umevunjika moyo umefika mahali ukasema imeisha nikwambie katika jina la yesu kristo Leo kuna neno inapandwa ndani yako, hiyo kushindwa na kuondokea. Hiyo kuepike na kuondokea. Adui yako atajua kuna kitu ulipandwa ndani. Adui yako atajua kuna neno iliwekwa ndani yako. Nasema utainuliwa, nasema utafanikiwa, nasema utabadilisha sura ya nyumba yenu. Wanataka ukae kama baba yako, maana alikuwa mlevi akashindwa. Nasema wewe unakuja kuondoa hiyo hoho. Utaleta baraka hiyo nyumba kwa sababu ufalme wa Mungu uko juu yako katika jina la Yesu. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Pigesu makofi mengi. 
Yesu akasema ni mbengu iliyo ndogo lakini yani maana yake ikipandwa hakuna mtu anajiua Ay 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 yani hiyo neno ikisemwa ni kama watu wanaitia maana ni mchezo lakini ikianza kuleta malipuko oh oh, oh yes na ni mwana uhura pigia bwana yesu makovi mengi nasema leo kuna mtu anaenda kubadilisha maisha yake kuna mtu ambaye utaonekana watu watashangaa wata kale kama mtu kalikuwa makamkonde kameanza kunona ukiwaza kameanda kunona angalia wallet pesa zimeanza kuingia ni bengu hiyo pande ya ufalme wa Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo naongea na mtu ambaye umefujika moyo mtu ambaye ulikuwa unaona ya umeufia kwamba maisha yako haiwezi kuendelea ni kuambia katika jina la Yesu ufalme wa Mungu unafanya kazi tofauti na ufalme wa ulimwengu huu ukisha kupandwa mbengu la Bwana na nilo lake kutoka juu mbinguni nasema kwa jina la Yesu Kristo ulimwengu utapiji ya yako ulimwengu utatii neno lako ulimwengu utatii maono yako ulimwengu utatii bibi yako ulimwengu utatii mipango yako receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus sema ya yeah. yeah. i want you to listen very carefully now let us look at the results of this seed the moment it begins to sprout out oh Mariko nasema matao yake sio kawaida na mengine. Mazao yake sio kawaida na mengine. Yaani maana yake ni kwamba wakati watu wanasema Kenya ni mbaya, wana, uh, matawi ya, ya mti huu nasema Kenya ni nzuri. Wakati watu wanasema kuna corona, matawi ya mtu huu nasema kuna magonjo. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo nasema siku ya leo na neno la Lord hakuna shaka kwa watu waliopandwa dengu la pona. Naongea na mtu leo ni kuambie katika jina la Yesu, ondoa mawazo yako kuona dunia ikiwa mbaya. Anza kuona mbingu la Mungu likipanya kasi kwako. Anza kuona uwepo wa pano kija juu yako. Anza kuona neno la pona kija kuzaa matunda juu ya maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo na nena baraka juu yako siku ya leo laana andunie kuondokee siku ya leo na nena ushidi juu ya maisha yako kisilani andunie kuondokee juu yako pokea ufalme wa Bwana ulio na mafanikio ulio na ushindi ulio na baraka ulio na maono ya mbali receive it in the name of Jesus sema amen oh wale ndege hawezi kujenga vyota juu ya matawi yake maana ni kubwa is extremely big under the shade of the leaves of this tree nasema ile laana na mataso haiwezi kuja kuingia pale ndani maana Mungu akisha kunena amenena akisha kuamua ameamua hakuna adui aliye na uwezo wa kugeuza wale ambao wamekuwa kifujika moyo nimekuja nikwambie leo katika jina la Yesu Bwana akianza kuinua maisha yako hakuna adui atarekesha chini watakuwa pale wakiona walio kuita wewe umelaaniwa watakuwa pale ukiinuliwa lakini hawezi kuregesha laana tena watakuona pale ukiendelea na hawezi kuregesha nyuma tena because it is God himself of who has said it nasema leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo anza kuinuliwa in the name of the Lord kule walio kuwa wameshindwa anza kusonga mbele kule walio kuwa wameshindwa nasema anza kwenda mbele hicho kitanda ambacho amelalia nasema ondoke huo mkeka okay hafi ya kwenda mbele hiyo tabu ambayo uko nayo ondoka kwa hiyo tabu anza kwenda mbele leo hiyo kisirani uko nayo ondoke hiyo kisirani leo anza kusonga mbele anza kupokea hiyo neno leo maisha yako itakuwa ya kawaida nasema nasema utaenda kule wengine walishindwa na kufika nasema utafika kule wengine walilemewa na kwenda why because the word of god is planted in your life in the name of jesus praise the name of the lord pia yesu makofi mengi sema amen pale nyumbani mali kunasema alipokuisha Yesu kusema haya akawaambia wanafunzi wake tufuke ngambo oh kila mara unapopandwa bengu adui anasikia nasema adui anasikia lakini kuna kazi yako ya kufanya ndio nataka kupatia leo ile kazi ambayo nasaili kufanya leo wewe ambaye nimesema amuka kwa kitanda mali umelala kuna kazi utafanya 
maana ule mkeka unakuangalia adui aliyekulaza pale amesikia anajaribu binu zingine lakini leo ninasema katika jina la Yesu ukisha kupokea hili neno na uliweke wazi ndani yako na utembee katika wingu katika hanga ya neno hili maisha yako haitarudi pale tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo pigie pale Yesu makofi mimi Amen Walipokuwa ndani ya mashua yao maandiko yanasema kulikuweko na mashua mengine ambayo iliwafuatilia na Yesu akaketi upande wa nyuma wa mashua na alipokaa pale akalala wanafunzi wake akawa kule upande wa mbele I want you to listen and just because of the promise and the clarification of how the kingdom of God is the devil came to try Aya ya 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 adui aliyesikia kaja kutingiza Nasema kutingiza sio kuangamiza Yesu akawa ameketi upande wa nyuma mashua na amelala amesizia pale maandiko yanasema ile mashua ikaanza kupelekwa na mawimbi na upepo maji ikaanza kuingia nani yani maana yake ile maji ikaanza kuifanya mashua iwe mzito ili ianze kuingia ndani ingie ndani ya maji iangamise wanafunzi wa Yesu lakini hawakujua Yesu yuko ndani nasema leo katika jina la Yesu kila nyumba inaenda kupokea uponyaji Yesu anaingia ndani wakija watatupwa nje wakinua chai watatupwa nje wakiingia magonjo watatupwa nje maana kuna askari aliye ndani wa ulinzi katika jina la Yesu Kristo Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Pia Yesu makofi mengi. Maana nasema wanafunzi wakaona listen to me. Yale mashua yengine haitaji kwamba ilikuwa inaingia maji ndani. Hey. Lakini yako mengine yanavuatilia. Lakini ile ambayo iko na ujumbe wa mbinguni hiyo ndiyo ilianza kuingia maji ndani ili kutingiza ile mbengu isije ikaanza kumea nasema katika jina la Bwana Yesu utakapoona mtishimuko utakapoona vitisho ni kwa sababu ya kile Bwana anaenda kuazilisha juu ya maisha yako nataka nikuambie ya kwamba nidhihirishe ya kwamba umekwisha pokea nidhihirishe ya kwamba sasa maisha yako inaanza kuinuliwa katika jina la Yesu usishituke usibabahike usisumbuke nidhihirishe ya kwamba safari imeanza katika jina la Yesu nikisha kuanza safari ni lazima itafika katika ukingo wake yani mwisho wake in the name of the Lord Jesus Praise the name of the Lord Amen. Wakaja kuchunguza kama hivyo inavyosemwa ni kweli Maji kaanza kuingia kwenye mashua Maandiko yanasema kwamba Wanabuzi wa Yesu akajua oh aliyesema yuko macho Dio amefunga macho lakini bado yuko kazini wakaenda wakamwambia mwalimu au jali tunaangamia maandiko yanasema Yesu akaukemea ule upepo akaukemea yale mawimbi na hali ikawa sori nasema leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo kuna mtu ambaye umetishwa kwa sababu umepandwa bengu la kuinuliwa nasema katika jina la Yesu hautarudi chini tena nasema kuna mteule ambaye umefutwa kasi wakati huu kuna mteule ambaye umekuwa na wakati wa kuuma na mwili nimekuja nikuambie kwamba nidhihirisha afya nzuri ndani yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana Mungu hakuna ugonjwa utakupeleka chini hakuna umaskini utakupeleka chini hakuna kitu kita kuondoa katika hii Nairobi katika jina la Yesu hiyo sehemu moja iliharibika geuza macho yako sehemu nyingine kuna sehemu nyingine nangojia wewe inataka uingie nani uinuliwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo nasema kuna mtu siku ya leo maisha yake inaenda kukumbukwa na jono in the name of the Lord Jesus sema amen akaokemea listen to me carefully akaangalia wanafunzi wake akawaambia for how long will you live in the life of disbelief kwa nini imani yenu imekuwa duni nami naongea na wewe mteule ambaye unaimba wimbo ni kama wewe haujawahi kutesi kuonja utamwa jehova nikwambie hilo jambo moja linakusukuma 
ni yale maji ilikuwa inaingia kwa ziwa lakini mwisho wa yote alifika ngambo nasema hiyo ngambo unaenda unaenda tu usitishwe na hizo vitu za kuinuka katikati ni za kudhihirisha kwamba safari inaendelea katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana Mungu pigia bwana Yesu makofi mengi in the name of the Lord Jesus <coughs> praise the name of the Lord kitabu cha Mathayo 15 inasema nini Mathayo 15 verse 1 Kisha mafarisayo na walimu wa sheria wakafika kutoka Yerusalemu kisha wale wa juzi wa Jerusalem wakamwendea Yesu wakamuuliza aha kwa nini wanafunzi wako hawajali ma, mapokeo tulio tuliopokea kwa wazee wetu simama hapo naongea na mtu ambaye anasikiliza ujumbe huu au ni watu wamekuja kwa Yesu kumuuliza maswali kwa sababu wameona jinsi ambavyo wanafunzi wake hawatii maanani vitu ambavyo vimewekwa kulingana na ekima na akili na maarifa ya ulimwengu huu Hawanawi mikono ipasapyo kabla ya kula. Hawatendi vitu zile ambazo zinaambatana tamaduni za ulimwengu huu kwa sababu wana sheria ya mbinguni ambayo inawamlika, inawafundisha, inawaelekeza. Yesu akawajibu, "Kwa nini nanyi amjali sheria za Mungu ila mnapendelea mapokeo yenu?" Wejibu. Na Yesu akawaangalia akawambia, "Na ni kwa nini nyinyi amjali sheria za aliye juu?" Wa yule ambaye ana uwezo wa kubadilisha yale ambayo mnayaona kama ni ya muhimu ni ya maana kuna vitu ambazo watu wameweza kusitia maanani ulimwengu huu ambazo Mungu ana uwezo wa kubadilisha nataka nisikilize vizuri kwa sababu ninasema na ubiri nikifundisha kwa mfano nataka niongee na mtu ambaye anitazama sasa hivi uone mabadiliko ambayo yameingia katika ulimwengu wote mzima kama vile ambavyo watu walivyofikiria ya kwamba kila mtu anaweza kuishi kulingana maono yake kulingana vile anavyofikiria kulingana masomo aliyosoma kulingana na akili alionayo lakini sasa imefika mahali kwamba watu wote wamewekwa kwenye kikapu kimoja walio na mali walio masikini walio na masomo hawa soma wote wako pamoja wale viwete kila mmoja hata wale viwete walikuwa kwa street everyone is scared of one thing Mungu amesema waheshimu baba yako na mama yako na anayetukana baba yake au mama yake lazima auawe ile sheria bwana amepeana watu wanataka kuibandilisha ili waweze kutimiza matakwa yao they want to suit to their own interest Everyone wants to do something that is only going to please him but does not care about the creator the one who has brought you who is keeping you alive. Like, And that is where there is a big question. Lakini nyinyi mwafundisha ati mtu akiwa na kitu ambacho angeweza kumsaidia nacho baba yake au mama yake lakini akasema kitu iki nimekitolea Mungu basi ampazi tena kumheshimu baba baba yake ndivyo mnavyodharau neno la Mungu kwa kufuata mafundisho yenu wenyewe Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Walikuja kwa Yesu wakitaka kutafuta mbinu na nia ya kuweza kubadilisha imani ya wanafunzi badilisha mafundisho ya Yesu Kristo Wakamuuliza wewe ni kwa nini wanafunzi wako hawataki kutia maanani sheria zile ambazo tuliachiwa na wale babu zetu wale walio tutangulia kule mbele kuna mambo ambayo utayakuta kwenu ambayo ilikuwekwa inafanywa lakini ambatana na sheria ya Jehova ni lazima uiondokee isije kakufanya kuwa mfungwa katika maisha yako katika jina la Yesu kuna mambo utayapata ambayo ilikuwa inafanyika kwa nyumba na boma yenu kwa, kwa, kwa kijiji chenu ambayo hasi mambo ya kumuinua Mungu si mambo ya kumwabudu Mungu ambayo ilifanyika kwa kufurahisha maroho za watu waliokufa kitambo nimekuja nikwambie katika jina la Yesu kuna sheria ambazo kifu watana nazo sitakufanya kuwa mfungo na ule ufalme wa Mungu ninaoongea bari zake na ambao ni mbengu iliyo ndogo inapandwa kuzaa itakosa mahali pa kupandwa kwa sababu yule mchanga umekwisha unganishwa na mchanga ulio laaniwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo pigia bwana Yesu makovi na shangwe na vigelele Sheria some of the people are living and the curses because they are still under the chains wamefungwa na minyororo ya sheria za mababu the word of god has never set them free today i have come to speak to someone to speak to someone to change your mind to change your way of thinking your way of life 
to suit the interests of God. And the word of God will begin to activate itself in your life in Jesus name. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, wakauliza swali moja tu. Ni kwa nini mnataka kugeuza ufalme wa Mungu kwa njia ya kuleta laana kwa wazazi wenu? Imeandikwa kwamba mheshimu baba yako na mama yako ili upokee baraka na kuishi miaka nyingi. Basi ni kwa nini katikati yenu mtu ajisemee kile ambacho angeweza kumpa kuwapa wazazi wake atapeleka kwa Mungu na mambo itakuwa sawa. No, it, the word of God can never contradict myself. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Maneno yanasema wakausunika wale mavarizayo na wale walimu wa sheria wakakasirika wanafunzi wakaja mbele za Yesu wakamwambia unajua kwamba haya mafundisho imekwisha kuwafanya watu wao waingiwe na hazira na wanaweza kuwa wanachukua tu wengine maandiko nasema Yesu akasema tu kila mtu ambao hakupandwa na baba yangu ni lazima unangolewa katika jina la Yesu nasema leo kwa jina la Yesu chochote ambacho hakikupandwa na baba kwa maisha yako kinaenda kungolewa baada ya ibada hii napoenda kutamatisha leo chochote kinachofanya kazi katika maisha yako ambacho hakikupandwa na Jehova kinaenda kungolewa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo inaenda kungolewa kwa jina la Yesu sema ya in the name of Jesus. Sema amen. amen. Kuna vitu ambazo hazikupandwa na Mungu kwa maisha ya watu. Today in the name of Jesus. Leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wewe unaye nisikiliza, unaye nitazama, unaye nipa masikio yako na macho yako na mawaso yako inaenda kungolewa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Sema amen. Pigia bwana Yesu makofi amen. Kwa nini ingolewe? Kwa nini ingolewe? Open your Bible in the book of Hebrews. I want you to see the kingdom that we are serving now. The book of Hebrews 12 verses 28 and 29. Nasema nini? Let us be thankful. Then because we receive a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Let us be grateful and worship God in a way that pleases him with reverence and away with reverence and away because our god is indeed a destroying fire kwa kiswahili si timbazi na tushukuru kwani tunapokea ufalme usiotingizika tunapokea ufalme usiotingizika tuwe na shukurani na kumwabudu mungu aha kwa namna itakavyompendeza kwa ibada na hovu maana Mungu wetu kweli ni moto mkali unaoteketeza. Nasema katika jina la Yesu Kristo chochote kilichopandwa ndani yako na hadui kinangolewa siku ya leo in the name of the Lord because the kingdom of God is unshaken. It can never be shaken in the name of the Lord. It's a consuming fire in Jesus name. Chochote kilichokalia maisha yako leo nasema katika jina la Yesu kianze kuchomeka, kianze kuchomeka, kianze kuchomeka katika jina la Yesu. Iwe ni umaskini leo. Waanze kuchomeka, waanze kuchomeka, waanze kuchomeka. In the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus is a consuming fire sema consuming fire sema kwa zile leo kitu chochote kinaowakilisha ufalme waangiza kichomeke leo kichomeke leo kiteketee leo kwa jina la Yesu na kwa zile leo mimi niko huru in Jesus name pige so makovi na shango na vigelegele Receive it in Jesus name. Bwana asifiwe. The devil has got no power. The powers of the devil they are just things that brings It's just to bring fear. But it cannot do anything the moment you realize that God has more power. Bwana asifiwe. Is a consuming fire. Sema consuming fire. Sema kwa sauti consuming fire. fire. Na kuanzia siku ya leo. Sema na kuanzia siku ya leo. Hakuna kitu kinanitia shaka. Kwa sababu ninajua aliyejua yangu ni mkuu. 